Hi guys, this is Kirsten with Loki and Friends, and today I'm going to be talking to you about where you could find a little ratty buddy all your own. So, the number one place that people will probably think of when they are trying to find a rat is a pet store, and that might not always be the best choice. I mean, I'll give you the cons right away, I'll be straight up with you guys. Uh, there's a lot of pet stores that just mistreat rats. They just keep them all in a thing and they don't feed them the right food and they just they get sick and there's just so many rats in just a confined space that they get sick and they pass it on a lot easier. Also, again, you'll get sick rats. These are not usually, typically, I'm not going to speak for all pet stores, but they're typically not the best. Also, a lot of them are kind of like feeder rats and if you don't know what that is, there are fancy rats and feeder are a type of rat, but they are just meant to be eaten. They're not meant to be pets, they're not meant to be live long, they're not, they don't have the longevity that home breeders have bred into their rats. And I'll just tell you right off, when we got our girls, they were technically feeders and they have gotten a lot sicker than our boys ever have. And the boys were home breeders, which I'll get to later. Another one is, there's a chance of them being pregnant. I mean, if they don't separate the girls and the boys by five weeks, there's a good chance that they're going to be pregnant. And if you aren't prepared for that, that's a lot of work. If you're, uh, if you're unfamiliar, rats breed fast and they have a lot of babies when they are pregnant. But the good part, the good, which probably doesn't outweigh, is the fact that they're easily accessible. I mean, pet stores, even when you're in a remote location, are usually around. and Oh, uh, they have rats when a lot of other places might not have it. So, oh yeah, and they're also expensive. They were kind of more expensive, depending on the breeder, um, than homebred rats. I mean, our boys were 20 for the two of them, and if we had bought them at the store, they're $26. They're paying more money for uh, sick animals, and that just isn't okay. And you also don't know where they come from. They could come from, uh, like, rat mills. But just like puppy mills, there are rat mills, and it's just bad, and you don't want to be supporting them. So the second place you can buy them is at a shelter or a rescue. Oftentimes, sometimes, not oftentimes, very rarely humane societies have them. There are a couple, um, and it's good because you, you um, give a nice rat a home, and you're supporting an organization that will give them, a, hopefully, a safe place until they can find a forever home. The con is, again, they don't always have rats, and a lot of times they're kind of older rats, you know, they're like a year or two, and if you've seen our other video where we've talked about the pros and cons of rats, they don't live that long. And these rats can also kind of have trust issues depending on where they came from, and it could be gnarly with their claws and their teeth, and it could be a lot to handle. The next one is home breeders. There are professional breeders. There are ones that are like accredited by like the National Rat Society. I'll link them. I forgot their name. Um, and those are like show rats and they come from a very top line and those can be like $40 each depending on you know how fancy they are and how varied they are. So that's a con and they're kind of hard to find. If you don't live in like a big um, city area that's not always easy to find them. The pros are they're usually if they are a good breeder um, are social. The rats are social when you get them because they've been handled since they were young and you don't have to worry about them being as skittish uh, typically typically and they're also typically healthier. They are not ex exposed to outside um, germs and outside rats that have a lot of diseases that you don't have to deal with. And you can find more uh, varied and more rare varieties. You can find um, Rex, which are the curly haired. You can find um, Blue, Dumbo. You can find any sort of variety that you probably won't be able to find in a regular pet store. Also, um, you, if you have a good breeder, you'll be able to meet their parents. You'll be able to see, you know, this is how big they'll grow. This is kind of the personality they'll have and just see what it's like when they, you know, are growing up and we bought the boys you know we were taken into the room where they were we were able to see the cage they were in she gave us some of the food they had um, uh, we saw their dad and got to hold their dad and their mom and, and just see all of that and that's a nice 
nice experience to have. They also typically have longer lifespans because they are typically bred that way. They are bred for longevity and try to breed out the diseases if, again, you're a good breeder. So yeah, that's really the three main places you could buy rats. There are a couple of other smaller ones, but those are typically the ones you'll find. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about ratties, dogs, anything, just let us know and we'll get back to you. See you later. Bye.